So I'm like, I get in, I take my hair off, and then I'm like, oh god, I need to end the vlog, because I have to put the hair back on to end the vlog, you know, just for continuity. Hi! So I am doing this really cool thing. I'm doing a week's worth of videos. Fingers crossed, I'm actually gonna get organized. I'm really inconsistent, and I wanna challenge myself to put out seven videos, or maybe eight. I might even do eight, because I want them to go live from Sunday to Sunday. So yeah, that is my plan. And hopefully I can show you a little bit more a little bit more of what I'm made of, you know what I mean? I've got quite a few press events on at the moment, so yeah, I think that is the plan and I can show you what they're all like, what the whole point of them is. I need to like explain things a bit more. I've been watching Fashion Mumbler's vlogs. She'll be filming at home and just going through everything and why she's doing it, you know, all the admin stuff, all of the stuff that you don't really get to see. But yeah, so today, what am I doing? So I'm gonna go to this Dyson thing because I can get my hair sorted out. I'm really bad at styling this hair because I, I've not, I'm not born with this hair. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird one to get used to. And then I've got a few press days. I've got a Jaeger event. It's press day season again. So we're looking at spring summer 17, which is scary, 17. Yes, yeah, so the whole point is that journalists will go and look at all the new collections. So they know what to put in their magazines. For vloggers, it's a little bit different, I think, because we go there to sort of build the relationships with the PR that will hopefully get us work in the coming year. It's also useful for us to see the collections, even though, you know, they don't come into store until maybe January, February, March, April, whatever. But I like to have a little bit of an idea of what's coming in and I do a little bit of forward planning. It's good to know what brands are doing really well and, you know, if any brand has kind of changed their direction, it's quite useful to see that. And I just love clothes as well, so it'll be interesting to see how the, the catwalk trends have filtered down. Right, you can see the mess that I've made already. But yeah, this coat is just so, like, cosy. Oh my god. And it still is printed, but it's neutral, so it will go with a lot of things. I'm excited! I think the shoot went really, really well. Usually when other people shoot me, like photographers and, you know, professionals, I get a bit nervous, but I think I pulled it off. And yeah, there was some really good foliage, very autumnal foliage, so I think they're going to be quite nice shots. I am back home. Busy, busy day of press events and, you know, networking taking photos, wandering around, looking at stuff, getting inspired. Yeah, I really want spring now. I want spring summer 17. Oh, what were my favorite things? There were so many good things. I was really surprised by June. Like June was really quite fun, quite uplifting, lots of metallics. I managed to, you know, chat to a few new PRs. I find networking can be so awkward, but you've just got to be yourself and be, be nice and like be personable. So yeah, I feel really, really inspired. And now I'm gonna put my dinner, put some kale in the oven, and I've got some like leftover rice and chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna just probably try and do a little bit more work because I, you know, I feel a bit out of the loop with everything. Yeah, I'm gonna just make a little list and hopefully get everything done on the list. But yeah, so that's the end of the vlog for today and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, so it is Thursday. What am I doing? So I've been up, what have I done? Finished a blog post. I've been really naughty. I haven't vlogged in like six days and I don't know why that is. I think I just couldn't, I had some days where I couldn't get my words out and the, the post kind of relates to that. So, you know, hopefully it'll be an interesting one. I've been trying to get on the site to see the Kenzo for H&M stuff. And I'm like, I'm not as obsessed with it as I thought. I would be, like the only dress I wanted was like 149 pounds. But I thought, you know, when you just kind of wanna have a look and you think I might buy something, but I have just not been able to get on the site. I guess it's better that I spend less money on stuff that I wasn't completely obsessed with. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. I'm gonna head to another few press days and then I'm hopefully gonna finish off my interview series with a couple of bloggers. So yeah, I've been trying to do this post on what it's like to be a full-time blogger. The idea is to interview three different bloggers, um, you know, from three different kind of niches within the fashion genre and get their thoughts on it all. Should be a fun little day and hopefully I can get, hopefully I can get lots of stuff done. <laughs> Urban Decay thing, but 
I'm really tired. I've got really high shoes and I was walking around and I'm like, I need to rest my feet and I've got to cook a chicken soup. So yeah, that is, that is the life of a blogger. I'm gonna cook my chicken soup, chicken noodle soup, and then I'm gonna go to Zumba. So yeah, wild. Hello, so it is Saturday. I have been to Zumba, I've been very productive, got my exercise out of the way, and now I'm gonna head to Renegade Craft Fair. So Renegade is a really cool place. I think it's like a, I don't know, they have these fairs all over the world and you can buy anything you want basically from designer makers, like small businesses, all that jazz. So I'm sure a lot of the people that I've seen on Etsy will have their stalls there. And it's just a great way of like discovering new brands and products and designs and prints and all that jazz. So that's how I'm gonna spend my Saturday. I mean, I don't know how, I don't know, I would be rubbish at this. I am at the Tilly and the Button stand, and they are really cool sewing patterns, but they've got things like pinafores, denim dresses. I have stumbled across Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> I should stop doing that. And this is a really nice print. Don't be a prick. It's a great motto. Hello, so it is Sunday. I don't normally vlog on a Sunday, and that's normally because I'm just like vegging. I'm home alone, so I thought I'd talk to you basically, because yeah, there's no one else to talk to. Well, my nan just tried to FaceTime me apparently. I'm gonna get loads of cooking done, because you know when you've got like random ingredients, and you're like, ooh, I could make a recipe or two. So I'm gonna make a few little things, and then I'm gonna make my lamb. Very excited for my lamb. I always make a proper Sunday dinner, even though it's just me, because I like to batch cook, so, I cook something big and I eat it for four days and because it's so nice, I don't mind eating the same thing. So yeah, I'm gonna make a lamb thing, I'm gonna make some scones and I'm gonna make some tarts. Yeah, I'm gonna get all the cooking prepped and have the oven on and then I need to prepare for the week ahead. So there's World Travel Market tomorrow, so that's quite important for networking with the travel like trade. So I need to prep for that. I need to write a blog post. So yeah, busy, busy Sunday, but I'm gonna get it all done. I've got a you know to-do list that I haven't finished making, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. cheesy scones. So this is the winter berry tart that I've also made. This is the lamb. Hello! So I've just realised I haven't ended this vlog. So it's the first one of my week of videos. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm going to try and get organised. I'm going to stick to 6pm for weekdays and then on the weekend I will have the videos up at 9am. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out. I've got lots of different videos coming up. Blogging related, fashion, all the videos basically. If you want to see anything, I'll see what I can do. And also make sure you keep watching to the end of these videos because I'm gonna have a giveaway in my last video. So hopefully that'll be in Sunday's video. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Well, tomorrow. Bye. So it's got this gorgeous fluted sleeve detail and I just, I love it. Like I love these sort of feminine details that are coming through all over the place. Like, so you can pop this underneath a pinafore dress or a jumpsuit or even a jumper and just have this peeking underneath. 